Growing up as a black man in the UK, you feel like there's so much weight and pressure on your shoulders. So much is expected of you at such an early stage in life, which led me to a dark path. But when I first played the game of rugby, I knew that's when it would all change and lead to the very moment me and my teammates would play for Jamaica. My name is Kai Barnes Dobson, I'm 18 and I play for Jamaica Crocs. Why I enjoy playing rugby, I love the thrill of the game, I love the intensity, I love the passion, I love the relationships you build with your brothers on and off the pitch. Like, you're always going to be there for them and they'll always be there for you no matter what because the stuff you go through and the way you work and the way you play together, that stuff, when it correlates to real life, it's amazing. The turning point in my life that made me pursue rugby further was definitely me getting in uh, when I started getting into trouble. I thought this wasn't the path I want to go down. So I saw rugby as the perfect opportunity as um, for me to channel my anger. And I had the opportunity and I had the, the, the gifts to pursue what I wanted to do. So I thought, why not let's put the energy into this and it will turn out however you want it to turn out. Me and the boys never really expected or never even thought of the opportunity of playing of our homeland. So when the opportunity came, I felt quite honoured, especially going back to the homeland and playing in front of all the people and playing on national live TV or on YouTube, that felt mad. Doing some warm ups before the game, it's pre game warm ups, but anyways, no focusing again. These boys just getting prepared now, so yeah. So, coach feels currently preoccupied. So, we got John Barnes, my possible relative, yeah, man. Yeah. Same last name, same country, small island. It's my seventh cousin here, <laughs> seventh, eighth, ninth. Who knows? So, we've just finished. It's our Tuesday today, just finished our second training session. Energy's pretty Boys, high. Please don't leave anything behind. Come on. Coach Phil is telling us not to leave anything behind, man. Yes. Global yes. warming, climate change, you know. Oh, fuck. Love you team Mexico. English, <laughs> we're, we're trying oh, to speak to them. <laughs> yeah. Say hello to the camera. Yeah. Say hello to the camera. Wait. Yeah. 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 yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yes, sir. Right, so we're currently getting our medicals done. Uh, we're in a store on campus, so. Right, so it's currently like 5 a.m. Walk into training, so let's get it. You know, skies looking lovely. Right, cool. So we just finished training. That's Kai. All the man, them. What's your name? Hero. Tyler. Bums. 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 Jude Bellingham, can you state your, state your name and position, please? My name is Jacob Nicholson. Yeah, Jude Bellingham. Where I've been with yeah, I'm a scrum half. So right, 10 cool. according to Hutton. A winger. Yeah, and what team do you play for back in the UK? I play for Oakland's College. But that's just finished. I currently don't have a team. Dang. How you feeling? Yeah, man. Hold on, let me do my hair. Hey! hey. Sorted, the pattern is sorted. We have unearthed the diamond. Later on, we've got one more session to polish the diamond and then we're going to go and demolish the USA. I've had a look at them, I'm not convinced. convinced. I want to see us go and battle them all over the park. <laughs> Bring the energy, bro. Bring the energy. I mean, when I saw them boys, I saw how big they were. I was like, God damn, but I mean, that doesn't really change a thing, you know. Rugby can be won off the pitch before you even step on the pitch. You know, sometimes it's all just mind games. Sometimes it's about what team pulls up on the day. 
But I mean, us losing in the finals to the USA wasn't really... I don't take it as a loss because we came far. We came from being a team that not really much people knew we even had a rugby team. And that was a surprising thing. We were on a flight to Jamaica from England with a bunch of Jamaicans. And they said, Jamaicans play rugby with a question mark every single time they saw our shirt. So I think from us becoming nobody to come in second and losing in the finals is a big, big achievement. Especially now what we've got going on. We've got boys from all over the world, all over Jamaican heritage representing. It's a big thing and I'm just happy that I was there for that part of the story, for that chapter. And I'm excited to see what the future holds. Uh, I'll tell my younger self, never give up. And the reason being is if you did, you would never know what outcomes you can achieve. You'd never know what road and avenues that one opportunity could bring yourself down. Um, so I would just say to my younger self, never give up, stay positive and just keep going at it no matter what. I mean, it's really hard to see what the future holds for people, but five years from now, hopefully, I'm still playing, still enjoying myself. Um, most likely, I just want to be happy in five years from now, you know, make sure the family's all good. Um, my advice to young black boys is ask for help. If you need help, ask for help. If you, if you need support, you need advice, you, you have problems with your mental health, ask for it, just ask. I know it's a big thing to seem uh, men can do it on their own, but sometimes you can't. So my advice for young black athletes or young black boys is just ask for help, follow the right path, and don't follow the crowd, be yourself.